So there is my subject. This is a beautiful view. Uh, that was my actual view. I was sitting on a bench uh, on this, uh, you know, sidewalk that's right on the edge of the ocean there. Really cool location. This is in Lahaina on Maui, on the west side of Maui. Very, very popular little town there. And uh, it's just a really cool, cool place. A lot of things to paint. I spent most of my trip, uh, spent about two weeks, a little over two weeks in this town. Uh, staying in this town, so it's really cool. Everything's in walking distance. You can walk around the town, and I just got out every day that I could and, and painted what I could, and uh, just tried to do a bunch of different things, uh, as you'll see in these coming videos in this Hawaii series. But let's uh, talk about this one. So this island that I'm painting started out with the sky, and now I'm working into the clouds. Uh, at this point in the trip. You know, I'm still trying to figure out the sketchbook, you know, without the painted edge or the taped edges. Because uh, I'm used to taping the edges of my sketchbook. So I'm still trying to figure out, like, how far to the edge do I would like to paint and how do I like to handle this um, without making it look too messy or something. Uh, but uh, for the most part, starting out light as you normally do with watercolor. Uh, as I normally do with watercolor for the most part, uh, softening some edges there. So I just use a little damp brush and I kind of just scrub uh, some of the paint, dried paint, kind of softens it. Uh, but anyway, my subject is the island of Lanai, or Lanai. And uh, that island that I'm painting is not very populated at all. I think there's like two or 3,000 people uh, not many people live there at all. I actually went to Lanai on this trip uh, for a little snorkeling trip and I did a painting there so it's pretty cool. We'll see that uh, in future episodes but right now I'm painting the island and I I'm not sure that I'm completely satisfied with this painting as a whole but I do, en I do like it. I do enjoy it. So right there, I'm doing some wet and wet, wet into wet, getting some different variety of colors there. Uh, this island was kind of tricky to paint because it's so far away, you know, it's miles and miles away. So you get this uh, graying down from the atmosphere, the different layers of atmosphere. It also cools it off. But the island is mostly greens and mostly reds, uh, which the red comes from kind of the dirt that's on the island. Uh, so yeah, it was kind of just this grayish brown, a little bit of greens here, a little bit of magentas. And then as, as the painting progresses, we'll see that there's actually shadow on the island as well from the clouds. So there was just a lot going on with this island and it was kind of challenging and that's what I had to to work through. You know, what kind of, what color is that island actually? And I just made a different mixture of colors there and kind of blended them all together. And now I'm painting this really blue, ultramarine blue water. I left a few little white spots there in the water. Those are some sailboats that are out in the water. And now I'm leaving some white area for a wave crashing onto the uh, shore here. There's not really a shore, but just a wall. And now I'm kind of giving some variety, some shape to that wave. I'm still, at this point in this trip, I'm still trying to figure out how to paint waves too and make it look realistic. I think by the end of the trip, I was pretty good at painting waves and water and stuff because I, I painted it in almost every painting I did. There was, you know, the ocean. So softening some edges there. Also take note in the water of how it gets more green as it gets closer to me. And the reason that is the water gets more clear and you start seeing sand uh, the sandy bottom through the water and you know if you think of sand as this tan color more like a, a yellow or an orange and you mix that with blue you're gonna get kind of a green so that's kind of how that effect works with water and now I'm putting on some of these shadow shapes on this island using kind of a cooler purple cooler purple color and but I'm trying to keep it very soft struggling there a bit so you can see I put some paint down and then right away I kind of mop it up a little bit. 
you know, it's pretty hot in Hawaii, so a lot of this, a lot of the paint dries very quickly after putting it down, which is good for me because I, I like being able to, to work in, in a few different layers and work quickly. I'm just working in some of the shadow on the clouds there. You can see where I'm sitting. It's very challenging with the, the way the light's coming through the trees. Uh, it's kind of hard to see what I was doing. And there we go. I had to move a little bit uh, to get that dappled light off of my sketchbook. So now I'm hitting the water again with this darker value. I decided to go back and just darken the sky a little bit. I wanted to really make the clouds kind of pop out. Uh, even though the clouds are the white of the paper, it still didn't seem like it was bright enough. So I kind of added more contrast in the sky, at least toward the top of the sky. Now adding a little bit of color to these sailboats, you know, like on the bottom, some of them had like, you know, a colored rolled up sail or something. Uh, so just kind of adding a little bit of color and just adding a little bit of detail, really fine uh, lines there for the masts of the these little boats. And those little verticals kind of, I think, help the painting, you know, because everything else is so horizontal. So having those little bits of uh, vertical there really gives it a little bit of interest. I'm just about to the end of this sketch here, you know, adding a little bit more value there for some waves. You know, overall, I think I, I probably should have darkened the island one more time with like a glaze uh, just to bring that value down. But, you know, it is what it is. It just, I went with what I, I felt at the time. So it's just an honest, uh, honest effort. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And there's the final painting. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for future episodes. Peace.